Hey, you guys. So, I need to get up and get ready. Boyfriend is still sleeping. So, I have to be kind of quiet. He's going to wake up regardless. I feel bad. But I got stuff to do. I was up earlier doing some stuff. By the way, um, happy black vlogging times. Yeah, happy vlogging times. If you're in like in on it or if you're interested go ahead and do it too i mean i'm challenging myself to a video every day this month it's also my birthday month so i wanted to do something for that occasion and um and then i mean if it's vlog style cool if it's just a video every day that's cool too so yeah okay i gotta go hey i'm clean boyfriend's up Finally making coffee, the kitty's chowing down. We'll see if she makes a little cameo today. I just thought I'd show y'all what I was gonna have for uh, lunch. So I'm gonna have a smoothie. I'm gonna use the mixed berries, the frozen ones from my girl Jennifer's garden. Uh, some salad mix, it's organic. It says super mix, super food. I'm going to throw that in the smoothie, and then I'm going to have some, have it with orange juice. I like mine with pulp, but my system doesn't do well with, like, the acid, the high acid. So, we're going to do that. And then, um, for my sandwich, I'm just going to do some tuna. Um, I don't have any mayonnaise, which is probably, like, <gasps> what? Oh, I usually like to make my own mayonnaise if I'm gonna use it but anyways it's gonna be so it's gonna be tuna I'll throw in a little olive oil uh, salt which this is the one from DT and it's a little rough for me to try and like grind it but otherwise it's, it's good it's pretty potent from what I can tell so far uh, some pepper and then I'm gonna add some of this one right here I forget what it's called off the top of my head but it has like a lemony citrus flavor so yeah that's what I'm gonna do oh and then I'm gonna finish off these bugles that I'm really liking and I'm ready to uh, get into the buffalo flavored bugles and then um, just with some bread a sandwich and this is um, like a whole grain kind of it's a, from a local bakery today's temptation so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have my little, uh, what do you call them, like a sugar skull cup. I love this cup. Alright, that's for now. Hey you guys, I have a library haul because I love books. So I'm going to get straight into it, straight into it. The first book is dance related. It's called Swing Dancing. And up here on the top, it says the American Dance Floor. And then it has all kinds of info right there on the back, if you can see. So I love swing dance. I wanted to get it just for that. I also have an event. Um, obviously, the, the kitty cat is here, as usual. I also have an event on Sunday. I'm going to be doing like sock hop, 50s, 60s style dances. So that should be fun. Um, but yeah, I just you know, had to do it. And it looks very new. What year is this? Well, 2011. I hadn't seen this in my library before, so I picked it up. I was in the library um, two days ago, Thursday. So yeah, and I actually have a video on that. So I'll go ahead and link it in the description box if you'd like to see. Kind of like a library. Come with me. Alright, so next one. Nora Roberts. Who lives... Nora Roberts. I do. And this one is Come Sundown. And this one looks fairly new. Uh, June. Actually, no. June 2017. But I don't remember reading this one. So, I'm going to go ahead. There's the, like the inside right there. Like, nice, very simple artwork that I like. Um, so, yeah. Thumbs up if you love Nora Roberts. 
So this one, from what I could tell when I read the the flap here in the library, it, it has romance, suspense. Um, I think a little mystery is going on too in this book. So yeah. And then the next one I'm very excited about. I'm pretty sure I checked it out before, but I don't remember actually reading it. I think we do that sometimes. We check books out, but we don't end up reading them. Uh, and so this is by Caleb Carr. Sorry for the glare. It's really bright. This is Surrender New York. Um, I'm pretty sure this is his latest novel. And this is from... 2016 but if you're a fan of Caleb Carr like the alienist uh, the angel of darkness then you know that they have a TV series out right now the alienist on TNT and so I'm watching that one although I missed the last episode so I'm gonna have to catch up but yeah this one is kind of like um, like with Dr. Laszlo Chrysler from the alienist I'm pretty sure it's like this century something like that going on so anyways very excited to read this and it's very possible that i'm going to read it and then remember it oh yeah i did read it sometimes that happens but anyways very excited so this is kind of like suspense mystery um is it like a psychological thriller probably so yeah by the way um, if you would like for me to do book reviews, I'd be interested in doing that. I, I read a lot. Sometimes I'm reading every day. Um, but yeah, let me know. Okay, and last but not least, this one's actually not from the library. Well, not the public, Chicago Public Library. But it is from a little neighborhood library that I also, it's also, um, in that video. I stopped by a little neighborhood library. I go by there every once in a while, and the whole idea is that if you take a book, and then you leave a book kind of thing. So this one I found it actually a while ago, but anything like horror related, not horror, but anything ghosts, supernatural, Halloween, anything like that, and some horror. I, can hand, I, can, I can't tolerate the really gory, dark stuff, but some of it, yeah. Anything like that, folklore. Uh, superstitious anything I'm I'm into it so I saw this one and I thought it was cool and it's called witches some cool artwork there a book of magic and wisdom and I will be um, listing all these books down in the description box with the authors and such um, but yeah I I don't remember too much about what this one is about but what I wanted to try on camera was to see if the actual book had any artwork on it. Like, you know, without this little paper. So let's see. Unfortunately, no. There's nothing on here. But this feels pretty good quality. And I like this color blue. So, yeah. We'll be, be interested to see what's going on in this book. So, you know what? There's some really cool artwork in here some photos right there the kitty cat oh kitty cat let's see what else might be in here oh this is um some pretty uh interesting stuff in here i'm not sure i want to show it on my channel <laughs> um here's something that's not too too um out there so yeah i mean this is interesting i've definitely um, when the seasons change, I like to put out books that are like seasonal. So during Halloween, I'll, I'll bring out something like this. I'll bring out my, actually I was going to say my Nightmare Before Christmas book stays out year round. But definitely during that time, I kind of showcase it. Um, yeah, that's, that's the drill here. So that's it, you guys. Hey, you want to come say hi? I guess not. I guess I scared her off. Uh, so, anyways, I hope y'all are doing well. Whatever it is you may or may not be doing. I have my little smoothie here. I didn't want to drink it on camera. Particularly because I'm afraid some of these little greens are going to get stuck in, the, in my teeth. So, 
but I wanted to mention if you're into smoothies or you want to you want to um, start making them more like more of a thing in your lifestyle um, or in your health your your food you know your everyday kind of food regimen or whatever and you're scared of the greens Try the spinach because this one I put some mixed greens in there and I can taste those flavors much stronger, like the greens flavor much stronger. But when I use just plain spinach, it's not as prominent. So anyways, I'll leave you guys on that note. I'm going to be kind of just hanging out, taking it easy. In a couple hours, I'll be headed to rehearsal and we're headed to a... Um, not a new space but it's a space that we were at um, when I first joined the company that was the space that we were in and then we moved to a few other places and now we're headed back there so yeah it's a trip but we're gonna see how it goes so okay you guys thanks for watching uh, remember to let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos or if you're interested in some kind of book reviews. I really appreciate it. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the content and you want to hang around for more. I hope you're doing well. Bye. Hello, hello. It's pretty much.